What's up, sons? It's Blind Dragon with Son of a Tech once again, and welcome to yet another video about mining cryptocurrency with graphics cards. As you guys know, I'm a fan of mining cryptocurrency with CPUs that I can buy or GPUs that I can buy at a consumer level, and I'm not a huge fan of FPGA or even like, of course, the ASICs. I've never been a fan of ASICs. That being said, today we're taking a look at the Radeon RX 5500 XT Mech from none other than MSI. Without further ado, let's hop into it. Here's a quick picture, a little peek of it running on our test bench, and we will have some B-roll going for you guys as well. From the looks of it, you can already tell that it's a two fan design with a single copper pipe as, as the heat sink. And if you take a peek even closer, you'll notice that the memory modules are not actively cooled. They're passively cooled with that front fan blowing over them or blowing some air over them. Now, when we're talking about mining, it may be worth it to go ahead and lean towards something that has active cooling on the memory modules. We will go ahead and leave an Amazon link down in the description below for you to go purchase this card. But while you're there, go ahead and maybe grab a couple more options. If you do see one with active cooling, on the memory modules, I would recommend picking that up if they're within the same ballpark in price. Now, when we're talking about price right now, retail, we're looking at anywhere from 180 US dollars to about 230 US dollars. So keep that in mind when you're calculating your ROI and so on and so forth. So getting into the dirty, dirty specs here, we have the interface type of PCIe Express 4.0, which is gonna be the latest and also probably not that big of a deal for miners. We're not really that interested in PCI Express 4.0. But if you're gonna be gaming on the card as well, knowing that it supports the latest options there and the latest and greatest and most bandwidth over that interface, you're gonna be good to go. It has 1,408, yeah, 1,408. For some reason, I thought 1,000, <laughs> but 1,408 compute units and the core clocks boost up to 1845 megahertz and game up to 1733 megahertz now that's going to be very dependent on if you need to overclock for specific coins and algorithms most of the time you're not going to be messing around with core clocks but the big deal and speaking of memory going back to the memory we were talking about earlier that passively cooled memory is running at 14 gigabits per second and it is eight gigabytes of GDDR6, and the memory bus is 128 bit. In most applications, 1800 to 1825 megahertz was easily attainable in almost every algorithm available that we tried, and we're gonna be going over all those algorithms that we tried here shortly. Now, the outputs that it does support is DisplayPort 1.4, it has three of those, and one HDMI 2.0B, now, a little bit of a frustration point for me was that we were trying to get 240 hertz working through the Elgato, and it's probably because the HDMI 2.0B, uh, maybe, or the cable that we have, trying to get figured out, we couldn't get it to go up to 240 hertz. Over DisplayPort, it went to 240 hertz, no problem, but over HDMI, it would only go up to 144 hertz, and still be detectable by the systems. So keep that in mind. It does have HTCP support and you can't turn it off in Windows 10. Awful, 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 makes me mad. They used to have an option that you could turn it off with, now they don't. Power consumption is 130 watts. It's data is not fixed. It may differ by core clocks. So we'll go over more uh, what we are seeing in power here in a second. Recommended power supply, 450 watts. Don't have to worry about that for mining as well. Power connector is a one or a single uh, eight pin power connector, PCIe power connector. And that should be pretty, pretty handy when you're talking about building a mining rig, anything that takes more than one, you know, if you have one eight pin, one six pin or two eight pins, uh, then you have to plan accordingly there and you can't add as many cards. The most power you can get off a single eight pin card is usually what I would prefer at least in the past. Things are changing a little bit. We'll kind of go over that maybe in a later video. So those are all the specs. And we're going to talk mining numbers now. All right, so the fun part. 
mining benchmarks, right? Because everybody needs to know what these cards are getting. So give me one second. I did want to pull up uh, some extra current profit that you guys could see. And of course, this may be outdated by the time this video is up. Always go calculate the profit separate from the video on what to mine and actually go out and mine yourself because even what to mine is not always accurate uh, 24 7. So this is just to give you guys a general idea and then uh, it's up to you to do the rest of the work because who knows how long ago I made this video. That being said, the hash rates should stay true and we did a lot of testing. First of all, we had Aeon and the card ran at 126.9 solutions a second at 141 watts. Currently in what to mine, you would be mining Aeon at a loss with this card. And we did tweak it. We did turn the power settings down. Uh, and the power is very, very, it fluctuates a lot with Aeon. So it's really hard to calculate. This is the worst case scenario. So worst case scenario, not profitable at this time but those are the numbers beam hash rate solutions per second 12 power in watts 134 now if you take a look at this you are going to see that you are profitable at about 18 cents per day calculating co uh, cost of power at 0.1 cent in usd so all these numbers are in us dollars uh, and that's going to be or point point one dollar. Sorry. So it's 10 cents essentially uh, 10 cents per kilowatt hour, uh, which is the average across the nation. Of course, if yours is different, blah, 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 it's going to be a little bit hard to calculate that. But that being said, uh, you could make up to 51 cents. And then, of course, minus power, you're going to be at about 18 cents a day on beam currently. But those are the numbers. Are you catching a trend here? Okay, so Ethereum, the big one, the big daddy, the profitable coin, the, the coin everybody needs to be mining right now, especially with their RX 5000 series. Hash rate, 25 mega hash a second at 96 watts. So here we are able to turn the power consumption down to about negative 25 we were able to turn the memory clock up to about 1825 megahertz. If you guys want a separate overclocking video and all of that for Ethereum, let me know. We're also gonna be looking at BIOS modding and so on, but this is just slapping the rig in, right? So at that, uh, you have a lot of profitable coins. So you have Ethereum Classic. 84 cents a day. You have Ethereum, 69 cents a day. Ubique, 23 cents a day. Pearl, you got at 22 cents a day. Um, even going all the way down to stuff like Metaverse and uh, Ether Gem, you're getting over 20 cents a day. Um, and that's really not bad. That's after power costs, like I said, at 10 cents a kilowatt hour. Uh, that may vary in your area. Um, but you're looking at revenue of, you know, around a dollar a day on Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. And uh, this is pretty awesome. Go plug it in, see where it's at right now. Keep them, keeping in mind, this is a $200 card as well. Okay, and then the next one, Ethereum was my favorite, by the way, here, if you couldn't tell, is Grin. We had a hash rate of 0.1 uh, GS. So I think that's, I don't know if that's Giga Hash. Let me know in the comment section below. I actually don't know what that stands for and I am just getting back into mining and I've never mined Grin, but we figured it out today. Maybe we'll have a how-to video for that as well. Let me know in the comment section below since I just learned how to do it. I'm happy to share that with you. Actually, it's gonna be the same for a few other coins. Haven, uh, the new algorithm for Raven, uh, Swap, and the new algorithm for Monero. So there's a few of these coins that I just figured out today. Uh, but that's at a grin was at a power usage of 159 watts. So if we take a look at grin, uh, you would not be profitable. You'd lose 15 cents a day and your revenue would be 23 cents a day mining grin currently. 
Moving on to Haven. So Haven is a new one. I need to do some research on it. I don't know if you should mine it, but in case you wanted to mine it, it's 701 hash a second at 134 watts. It is profitable at about 34 cents a day after power costs and something that you could look into in the future. Next is Raven, one of my old favorites. Apparently, some people don't like Raven anymore. Let me know in the comment section why not. I need to do some more research on it. So give me some, give me some reading material on what's going on. Get, get, get me that gossip, that Raven gossip. But the hash rate was 13 mega hash a second at 164 watts. Pretty power hungry. You're still profitable on it by uh, quite a bit, 40 cents a day. And the revenue is 79 cents a day on this particular card. Next, we have another old favorite, which uh, I can't seem to track down. Let me look at this. So what was this? This was 872 hash a second for Ryo, and the power consumption was 149 watts. And with that, it does come out to be profitable at a mere five cents a day with a revenue of 41 cents a day. So like I said, probably focus on revenue and then you guys can go ahead and go to what to mine and double check it but i was pretty happy with that i like ryo i think that it's relevant mainly because the dev is also the guy that uh, makes one of the most popular miners around so i don't think the coin's going anywhere if that makes sense next is monero another big one and this one's tricky so I did everything I could to get my hash rate up. Uh, we set our uh, B factor, we set our worker size, uh, we made sure that we set it to two cores or whatever, all of that sort of thing. Um, we obviously got it working for Haven, we got it working for Ryo. Uh, Monero, we couldn't get the hash rate to budge. We were at 548 hash a second, pretty much no matter what we did at 100 watts. Uh, but you know, if you're looking at mining Monero with random X, uh, you're probably going to be looking at using a CPU, something along those lines. It's not profitable. Just that's the way it is, right? There's nothing we can do about it. Z coin hash rate of 1.7 mega hash a second at 170 watts. All right. So what does that come out to? Well, that comes out to profitable, 0.26 cents, oh, two, six dollars. Why do I keep doing this? Because I go from saying one point whatever mega hash to that. 26 cents a day in profit, 67 cents in revenue. And yeah, I think, you know, that's an option. It's NTP, which is a new algo that I got to check out and play with. I like it. Um, however, I will say pretty much everything uh, but ET hash is wildly inconsistent. Um, in my experience, every test that we did uh, outside of like the big boys uh, were very inconsistent. Um, hash rates were inconsistent. Uh, they were kind of like up and down here and there. Um, we tried to grab the average, of course, out of those. And then the power consumption was the crazy inconsistency and Z coin was one where it was just poof all over the place. So we picked up the worst case technology or <laughs> technology. The worst case technology is, um, no, we picked up the worst case, uh, scenario there and we rolled with it. You know, that's what we did on all of these. If we're having inconsistent power consumption readings, we are going to get you the worst case and that way hopefully we can guide you into a better purchasing decision last we have zellcash with a hash rate of 17.7 solutions a second at 176 watts this comes out to not profitable with a revenue of 38 cents per day and losing uh, five cents a day. So there you go. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you guys stopping by and don't forget to come check me out on twitch.tv slash blind run. Don't forget to hit the subscribe, the like, and the notification bell down below if you want more cryptocurrency content and some more gaming content coming as well. I'll end it with a light party. I think I got it. Bam.
my party. It didn't work out very well. All right, I'll see you next Tuesday.